Memorandum 6751 is an interesting document that was released online by the FBI. It is quite a challenge to come across, but the aforementioned document is part of a vast collection of thousands, although it stands out due to its distinct nature. What sets it apart is its intricate exploration of enigmatic entities, advanced technological advancements, and intriguing gateways. The documentation was released in 2015 and has been used by researchers into the unknown as proof that we know of advanced beings. The document reads as follows. San Diego, California, July 8, 1947. A Memorandum of Importance. This memorandum is respectfully addressed to certain scientists or distinction to important astronomical and military authorities, to a number of public officials and to the FOM publications. The writer has little expectation that everything of importance will be accomplished by this gesture. Nevertheless, it seems a public duty to make it available. The present writer has several university degrees and was formerly a university department head. A very serious situation may develop at any time with regard to the flying saucers. If one of those should be attacked, the attacking plane will almost certainly be destroyed. In the public mind, this might create near panic and international suspicion. The principal data concerning these craft is now at hand and must be offered, no matter how fantastic and unintelligible it may seem to mind not previously instructed in timing of this type. 1. Part of the disks carry crews, others are under remote control. 2. Their mission is peaceful, the visitors contemplate settling on this planet. 3. These visitors are human-like but much larger in size. 4. They come from their own world. 5. They do not come from any planet as we use this word, but from another planet which interpenetrates with our own and is not perceptible to us. 6. The bodies of the visitors and the craft also automatically materialize on entering the vibratory ratio of our dense matter. 7. The disk possesses a type of radiant energy, or array, which will easily disintegrate any attacking ship. They re-enter the Earth at will, and so simply disappear from our vision, without a trace. 8. The region from which they come is not the astral plane, but corresponds to the lokes or tails. Students of this matter will understand these terms. 9. They probably cannot be reached by radio, but probably can be by radar, if a signal system can be devised for that. We give information and warnings and can do no more. Let the newcomers be treated with every kindness. Unless the disks are withdrawn, a redacted redacted with which our culture and science are incapable of redacted. A heavy responsibility rests upon those who are in authority to understand this matter. End quote. An interview with an individual named Billy featured on the next page, in which it details a boy called Billy who happened to photograph one of these strange objects, and which details that afterwards a strange agent decided to pay him a visit. The document reads as follows. The photograph in this clipping is alleged to represent a flying disc, which was observed by Billy Turrenstein, a Norfolk schoolboy who was successful in photographing the object with his small camera. Billy was interviewed on August 8, 1947 by Special Agent Redacted, at which time Billy informed that the original negative was given by him to a Mr. Brown of the Photo Craftsman Service. Billy advised that he has an agreement with Mr. Brown, whereby the latter will share equally in any profits derived from the use of the negative by commercial firms or newspapers. As of August 1947, Billy has not received any remuneration for the use of this negative. He informed me that he was sitting on the front porch of his apartment, which is located on the third floor at 410 West. He had read numerous newspaper articles pertaining to flying discs and decided to sit on his porch in the hopes of seeing one and attempting to photograph it. On July 8, 1947, Billy observed a large black object moving rapidly through space, proceeding from the southwest to a northeast direction. He said the black object was followed by two smaller objects, which also proceeded in the same direction. Billy explained that the objects were moving at a very fast speed, which appeared to him to be much faster than the speed of an aeroplane, and further that, the objects appeared to be extremely high. He said that they were much higher than the average plane travels in the city of Norfolk, and appeared to be above the clouds. Billy was unable to state what the black objects represented. He said, though that the objects were at such a great distance from him, that it was not necessary that he raised his head in order to see them from his porch. 
He immediately turned around to obtain his camera and estimated that it took him approximately 20 seconds, at which time the discs were almost directly over his apartment, and it was necessary that he stoop and look up almost perpendicular in order to obtain the photograph, which accounts for the porch railing being shown. Billy pointed out that the day on which he took the photograph, the weather was hazy and somewhat cloudy. End quote. After this, Billy went on to say that once the object got closer, he could see that it was black and in the shape of a disc. What's interesting about these documents is that there's so many of them detailing the same thing, strange crafts that have been observed by researchers and scientists. It's documents like this that have led people to say that we've been studying these crafts for nearly 100 years now, yet the public are still being kept in the dark about what these things are, where they are coming from, and how they are able to achieve the things they do. The phenomenon of unidentified flying objects has captured the human imagination for centuries, leading many to believe that these enigmatic objects have visited Earth throughout history. One of the earliest recorded UFO sightings dates back to ancient Egypt, a civilization known for its meticulous documentation of events. Hieroglyphs on the famous Tuli Papyrus, which dates back to the reign of Thutmose III in the 15th century BCE, describe a strange celestial occurrence. According to the text, fiery disks were seen in the sky, emitting a brilliant light and exhibiting unusual movements. The sighting was recorded with great detail, including the location, time of day, and the reactions of witnesses. This early account suggests that UFOs have been a part of human history for millennia, raising questions about their significance and the nature of their visits to ancient civilizations. The Annunciation of Ezekiel In the Hebrew Bible's Book of Ezekiel, there is a famous account often cited as an early UFO encounter. Ezekiel, a prophet living during the Babylonian exile around 593 BCE, described a visionary experience in which he witnessed a wheel within a wheel descending from the sky. The text goes on to describe the appearance of strange beings and a vivid, otherworldly encounter. While interpretations of Ezekiel's vision vary, some researchers argue that his description bears similarities to modern UFO sightings, with the wheel within a wheel possibly representing a flying, saucer-like object. This early account adds to the intrigue surrounding UFOs' presence in historical texts and beliefs. The Nuremberg Celestial Battle On April 14, 1561, the residents of Nuremberg, Germany, witnessed a baffling celestial event that became known as the Nuremberg Celestial Battle. The event involved the appearance of various aerial phenomena, including cylindrical objects, crosses and spheres, engaged in what appeared to be a fierce battle in the skies. Witnesses described the objects emitting smoke and fire as they engaged in this mysterious aerial encounter. The Nuremberg Celestial Battle was documented in the local newspaper, and artists of the time produced detailed woodcut illustrations depicting the event. While some explanations suggest natural phenomena or atmospheric anomalies, others interpret the event as a possible early UFO sighting, raising questions about the nature of these aerial objects. The Foo Fighters of World War II During World War II, military pilots on both sides of the conflict reported encounters with mysterious aerial objects known as Foo Fighters. These objects were often described as glowing orbs or spheres that followed aircraft, exhibited extraordinary speeds and maneuvers, and emitted strange lights. The sightings were reported in the war diaries of various Allied and Axis pilots, raising questions about their origin and purpose. While some explanations have suggested natural atmospheric phenomena or secret military technology, the true nature of these early UFO sightings remains elusive. The history of UFO sightings stretches back millennia, with accounts recorded in ancient civilizations, religious texts, historical records, and military archives. These early encounters with unidentified aerial phenomena challenge our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. While skepticism and debate continue to surround these accounts, they provide a compelling glimpse into the enduring mystery of UFOs and their presence throughout human history. The study of UFOs represents a quest for answers, a desire to unravel the enigma of these unidentified visitors, and an exploration of the unknown that spans across the ages. So, what do you make of this mysterious document? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, 
and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.